During the early 1960s, the United States Air Force recognized the need for more precise and effective weapons for aerial attacks. The bombs in use at the time were often inaccurate and caused unintended casualties among civilians and non-combatant infrastructure. In response to these needs, the U.S. Air Force began developing a series of bombs known as the Mark series. The Mark 82 bomb was one of these bombs, designed with the aim of enhancing precision and effectiveness in aerial attacks. One of the significant innovations in the development of the Mark 82 bomb was its aerodynamic design. This streamlined design allowed the bomb to maintain stability during its descent from an aircraft, thereby increasing accuracy and precision when reaching its target. The Mark 82 bomb also introduced an advanced laser guidance system. By utilizing laser beams to direct the bomb towards its target, this system enhanced precision and enabled pilots to target with exceptional accuracy. Development The Mark 82 bomb, also known as the MK-82, is a general-purpose bomb developed by the United States. It is a 500-pound, 227 kilograms, bomb that has been widely used by the U.S. military and several other countries since its introduction in the 1950s. The development of the Mark 82 bomb can be traced back to the post-World War II era when the U.S. military recognized the need for a smaller, more versatile bomb than the larger World War II era bombs. The objective was to create a bomb that could be used against a wide range of targets, including enemy installations, armored vehicles, and personnel. The development of the Mark 82 involved improvements in bomb design and materials to make it more effective and efficient. The bomb features a thin-walled steel casing filled with high explosives, typically composition H6. The thin casing allows for a larger explosive payload while keeping the overall weight of the bomb relatively low. It also has a streamlined shape to reduce drag and increase accuracy when dropped from aircraft. Over the years, there have been several variants and modifications of the Mark 82 bomb to enhance its capabilities and meet evolving operational requirements. These variants include the Mark 82 Snake Eye, which has folding fins to provide increased maneuverability and shorter range, and the Mark 82 Air, which has a fuse optimized for airburst detonation. Capabilities The Mark 82 bomb features a streamlined, cylindrical body with a length of approximately 87 inches and a diameter of 10, 75 inches. It is constructed from high-strength forged steel, making it both durable and able to withstand harsh environments. The bomb's standard variant is freefall, but it can also be modified for use with laser-guided, GPS-guided, or other precision guidance systems. When it comes to its explosive capabilities, the Mark 82 is a force to be reckoned with. It contains a high explosive filling, typically composed of tritonal, which is a mixture of TNT and aluminum powder. This potent combination creates a devastating explosion upon impact, generating a lethal blast radius and shrapnel effect. One of the key advantages of the Mark 82 bomb is its adaptability to different delivery platforms. It can be dropped from various aircraft, including fighters, bombers, and attack helicopters. The bomb's weight allows for efficient carriage and delivery, making it suitable for both aerial and ground-based operations. In combat scenarios, the Mark 82 bomb has proven its worth time and time again. It has been utilized in numerous conflicts around the globe, including Vietnam, the Gulf War, and more recently, in operations against extremist organizations. Its accuracy, destructive power, and wide deployment options make it an invaluable asset for military forces. Dumb Bomb in the world of military weaponry, precision strikes and advanced targeting systems have become the norm. But among the vast array of munitions lies a bomb that harkens back to a simpler era, the Mark 82 bomb, often dubbed the Dumb Bomb. The Mark 82 bomb is a mainstay in the arsenal of armed forces worldwide. What sets it apart is its absence of guidance or targeting systems, earning it the nickname Dumb Bomb. Inside its sturdy steel casing, the Mark 82 bomb contains a powerful explosive filler, typically tritonal or composition H6. 
However, unlike its guided counterparts, this bomb relies on other factors for accuracy. When released from an aircraft, the Mark 82 bomb follows a ballistic trajectory determined by the aircraft's speed, altitude, and release point. Its course is dictated by the laws of physics, relying on gravity and momentum alone. The accuracy of the Mark 82 bomb lies in the hands of the skilled pilot. Factors like wind speed and direction must be considered to deliver the bomb on target. It's an art that requires expertise and experience. Use on the battlefield. The deployment of the Mark 82 bomb in the Iraq war showcased its adaptability and effectiveness across a range of mission profiles. Its ability to accurately engage targets, deliver lethal force, and support ground operations made it a vital asset for coalition forces. The Mark 82 bomb was employed in strategic bombing campaigns by aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress. These heavy bombers delivered a large number of Mark 82 bombs on key enemy installations and infrastructure, including military bases, command centers, and communication facilities. The bombs played a crucial role in disrupting enemy operations and degrading their capabilities. Aircraft such as the A-10 Thunderbolt II, known as the Warthog, used the bomb to engage and destroy armored vehicles, bunkers, and fortified enemy positions. The precision and destructive power of the Mark 82 bombs supported ground operations and helped protect friendly forces. The Mark 82 bomb was also utilized for anti-personnel strikes. When dropped in specific configurations, it could be employed to disperse fragmentation and inflict casualties on enemy personnel in open areas or urban environments. These strikes aimed to disrupt enemy formations and impede their combat effectiveness.